everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark V. Fusco. And this, my friends, is The Elite Show, a.k.a. the Internet's most elite wine program. Yeah, I just did a Gary Vaynerchuk. But, you know, he's the inspiration for all this. Um, and this, guys, this is the inspiration for Elite Wine. When, uh, when I saw this wine at World Market, I don't know if I can really get this done right, but I saw it kind of at an angle. Now, those of you that are geeks like me know that 1337 spells leet in leet speak. You know, the one is the L, the threes are the E's, and the seven is the T. So, this is going to be uh, my version, I guess, of Wine Library, but I don't own a wine shop. I don't run one. I got to buy all my stuff myself. So, we're going to start off with this wine, and it's a uh, Cabernet Sauvignon 2006, 337. Now, what I found out from looking at their website is that this is a French clone, a Cabernet Sauvignon clone that they named 337 and they planted it in Lodi. Apparently it has the same uh, soil type as uh, Bordeaux or where this clone was created. I suppose you're, you're supposed to do that. Make sure you plant the clone in the same type of soil, the terroir, so to speak. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do a whole little wine uh, review here. We're going to do one wine a day. Because uh, I can only afford one wine a day. Can't do three, four, five. A uh, few th other things. My background. I've been in restaurants, uh, restaurant industry for 14 plus years. Uh, wine. I'm a, I would say a, a little bit better than average uh, wine connoisseur. Uh, I like wine. I know what I like. I can uh, uh, distinguish certain things. But I don't have a very sophisticated palate or nose. So very likely... I may not smell much out of this. I may not taste much out of it, other than tell you I like it or I don't like it. So uh, this is going to be a learning experience for all of us. We're going to take a little journey on expanding our palates. I'm going to expand my palate. Uh, the other goal of this uh, wine show is that we are going to try to do wines that are under ten dollars. They may be the occasional higher priced one, but we're going to try to stick with under ten dollars. Now this wine, and once you know it, I don't have the, I don't have the receipts. Hold on, I'll be right back. In the spirit of this is in one take, we don't do retakes. All right, so this wine does not fit the under $10 thing. This wine was $13.99 at World Market. Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and get ready. All righty. Got a nice big-ass glass here. All right, so we'll swirl it around. Try to get that uh, bouquet going. Just so you know, we, I popped this wine probably five, ten minutes ago, so it hasn't had any chance to breathe. We're going to do two more wines today. They'll be in two different episodes. They're off to my left, but uh, they've been open about the same amount as this wine, so not going to be much going on with that. Well, I just want to get off the nose. Really just dark fruits. Um, can't be any more specific than that. I can smell alcohol too, so I don't know what this, what's the alcohol on this? 14.5%. Well, they've got like a 1% leeway, so it could be 15 or higher. So that might be what's coming through in the nose. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and taste it and see how it is. Tastes like wine. <laughs> um, let me taste that again. Pretty tannic. So, I'm glad I got a little napkin action here. Very dry. Like I can feel the tans coating all over my mouth. Um, I get some. I get again the dark fruit flavors. Uh, I wouldn't call it a fruit bomb, but um, definitely could not drink this 
by itself. At least I couldn't. Uh, maybe you could. I would definitely want to pair this up with a nice steak, uh, something very heavy. I mean, as a cab, cabs you know tend tend to be heavier wines. You know, it's not it's not a light wine. Uh, also, just so you know, cabs are not necessarily my favorite wines. Uh, I tend to gravitate towards Zinfandels as far as Reds and Syrahs, Shiraz or Shiraz. Shiraz in Australia, by the way, that's how they pronounce it. Um, <clears throat> so those are those are the varietals and the Reds I tend to gravitate towards as far as the big body wines. Um, do I like it? Yeah, I like it. You know, it's, I mean, it's $14. So uh, would I necessarily go out and, and, and just buy tons of it? I don't think I would. For me, I would probably buy it more of a special occasion wine, you know, just being trying to be budget minded. Um, I, I think it, I think it does a great job and I think it's, it's really well, well made. But then again, I'm not really an expert yet on that type of stuff, but, but it's, I think it works. It's pretty good. We're going to try that with a little bit of a chocolate cake just because, well, mm. a little bit with the chocolate cake. I mean, the, the cake itself kind of enhances it a bit. You know, I, I feel more, it enhances the chocolate flavor of it. Not that I'm tasting chocolate from the wine, but it enhances the chocolate flavor. I still have that, the, the big tannins and my gums are just dry as you can be. So, you know, if I was more like with more fatty foods, so like, again, with like a steak, I'm not a ribeye fan, but if I was having like something like a ribeye or something very fatty, it would help cut down all that. And then, this little fun fact, the reason that you drink red wines with steaks is, is not just for the flavor profile, but it also the fats in the, uh, in the food help break down the tannins, or help, the tannins help with, with the whole fat. So that's kind of why you do that. Um, all right, so this is going to be the first episode of hopefully many. Uh, you'll see on the... We'll see, I guess it'll be that side, the left, yeah, or my left, your right of the website. You'll see a couple buttons on there for PayPal. Uh, there's a donate button and there's a subscribe button. The donate, you can donate as much as you like. You know, if you want to donate $1,000, <laughs> heck yeah. Um, if you want to subscribe, it's a 12-month subscription. It's $2 a month recurring billing. After 12 months, it'll automatically stop, so you won't be getting subscribed forever. You'd have to resubscribe. And I'm not, the reason I'm asking for this, this is not my job, but... You know, I do got to pay for the wine. I got to pay for the hosting, and it would just hopefully just offset some of those some of those costs. You don't have to donate at all. So um, we're going to go and end it up today. Uh, I don't really have like a question of the day. I may eventually do something like that. And uh, that's it. Thanks for thanks for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.